Welcome to Paranormal Night Shift, your home for all things that go bump in the dark and your fan stories told here. There's something about this guy, Bigfoot, Yeti, Abominable Snowman, that just captivates the world. So many stories come in from so many different locations. What are these creatures? Are they an ancient civilized race? Are they the missing link between our evolution? Or are they something completely different? This story comes from Florida, where this guy is known as the Skunk Ape. Josh writes in from Jacksonville, Florida. When you work night shift, your internal clock just gets weird, right? Sometimes having a night off on night shift is actually the worst thing that could happen to you. Because, well, you worked all night before and you're exhausted, so you sleep all day. Next thing you know, it's your day off and you're up at 3 in the morning. At least that's what happened to me this night. I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning, playing video games. I couldn't sleep, and my dog Pepper needed to go out. I opened the sliding back glass door to let her out, and she started to growl, like a primal growl, at something against the tree line. Whatever it was had really gotten her spooked, and she was trying to defend me. I guess. Pepper, come on, let's go. Come on, Pepper, let's go inside. But her growl turned into something different. Something ancient. Something primal. As if this guttural growl looking back at me said, Intruder alert. You're in danger and it's my job to protect you. There was a large fence, a privacy fence, that blocked the tree line from our house. And that's when I saw it two bright yellow glowing eyes. Pepper started to growl louder and I was now visibly shaken. Pepper, come on, come on, let's, let, let's go inside. Pepper, let's go inside. Now this privacy fence was like seven feet tall. So for these eyes to be peeking over the fence, imagine how large this creature had to be. It wasn't a raccoon or something that was sitting on the fence. It was larger than that. It was looking over the fence. And as Pepper is growling at it, it's growling right back at her. I, I ran inside to wake my roommates up. See, they worked day shift and they were sleeping like normal people. There, there's something outside. There's something outside. You guys have to come help me. You have to help me get the dog back in. Whatever's out here, I don't know. You, you have to come help me. My roommates, very upset that I had woken them up, reluctantly came downstairs to go into the backyard. Now Pepper is actually right on the fence, growling and trying to dig her way to whatever this thing is. And it hadn't moved. It's just sitting there, almost laughing at the fact that Pepper's trying to get through the fence. Me and my roommates walk over reluctantly to the fence. What the... What the hell is that? That's when it spoke. I knew that this was no longer a creature that we would see normally at night. The thing was, was aware. The thing was very self-aware and looked at us. Peering at us, it goes, what the hell is that? We didn't notice it before because in our mind, nothing could be that big. But the creature's hands were draped over the fence. We watched as these massive arms swang back to the other side of the fence and watched the two yellow eyes turn and walk back into the wood line. So many people say that seeing is believing. And that's what I think we saw that night. This thing is, is aware that we can see it. And this thing is aware of itself. Maybe, maybe it's not as primal as we think it is. Something that has no, no memory, no, no cognitive thinking. I think that they are very aware and that is why we do not see them. They choose not to be seen. Tell me in the comments what you think about this guy right here and definitely go check out my link tree to where you can get your own Paranormal Night Shift coasters or Bigfoot coasters and stickers available all in the link tree. Thanks for watching Paranormal Night Shift.